All I want to do is be a cowboy. Part of it by making saddles. My folks started this business in 1942 here in Kearney. And I was born in 47. And uh, they kept me in a saddle box when I was a baby. So I grew up in the shop when I was 12 years old. I built my first saddle with the help of my dad. I tried to count up and keep track of what my dad and I have made up to date, as close as I can come, with him and I combined, we've made right at 3,000. And I've probably made at least 1,800 of those. But as far as the tooling, he would only use one flower all the time, and Mom did everything different every project she worked on, and that's what I do. Actually, my mom was way better than my dad, and he's, she's the one that taught me how to do that. The idea of tooling like a saddle is it'll last longer because the leather is compressed and it will, it will last longer than a plain saddle will. If you're going to be on a horse a lot, say if you want to be a cowboy and you need a saddle, and preferably one that's not gonna hurt your horse's back and not gonna hurt you. And my dad pretty well taught me that. He said, if you're not happy with the job, don't show it to the customer. Throw it under the bench and start over. My wife is a great quality control person. She really looks at every stitch and, and makes sure, because she always says, we're professionals. and We can't turn out stuff that that looks half done. We have sent saddles to Canada, Germany, Switzerland, Brazil, Japan, England. We were surprised when we first started getting orders from foreign countries. People are absolutely in love with anything to do Western in the United States. With an actual saddle, I do all of the finish work. That means rubbing down the edges because after he cuts them, they're kind of rough, and I rub them down and make them nice and smooth. She is probably one of the best finish people in the business. I've never seen anybody match her. So she, she's a lot of help. I make them shiny and pretty. Maybe that's the way that I, I should uh, say it. There's times at night I'll wake up and get to thinking about something. Two o'clock in the morning, I'll come out here and at least draw it out so I don't forget it. Yes, he is an artist, even if he is humble about it. He's an artist in other mediums if he had time to pursue it. They're the people that go out in the morning when it's still dark, take a halter with them or a catch rope and catch their horse that's snorting at them and saddle them up and take off just as the sun's coming up. Those are celebrities to me. I like to build stuff for working cowboys. 